Removing hair color has never been this easy. Like, why didn't no one tell me about this product before? Okay, so I'm using the Matrix So Color Cult Color Eraser, and you don't need a license for this. I got mine at Sally's, and they're like $7 a packet. The last time I tried this out, I had purple hair, and it removed it beautifully, so today we're trying it with my pink hair. The results were so good the first time. Unfortunately, I only created a YouTube short for that and a TikTok like video and an Instagram short, so yeah, if you wanna see that video, it's already posted. I made it a couple months ago. Go, but today we're trying it on pink hair the pink was really cute while I had it but I really need a change so we're gonna be changing it up I don't know what color I'm doing next so don't ask me because I don't know <laughs> um, but yeah we're using distilled water make sure it's distilled because that's what the instructions say I wasn't sure what the ingredients were to this product so I actually had to ask ChatGPT to explain it to me um, because this part of the voiceover I had previously recorded but my information was a little bit off so I had to ask again with direct dye like overtone or manic panic you would want to use water and with oxidative dyes like the ones you use with developers you would want to use developer as well to erase that hair color so just a tip this does not bleach your hair this does not lighten your hair it only removes whatever hair color is left sitting on top of your hair so just wanted to get that out there. This is not a bleach. It does smell very strong like a bleach, but it is not a bleach. I noticed when I rinsed this out, my roots were still black. Like I didn't have any halfway bleached roots or anything. Every, my roots were still black, but the ends where my pink is were blonde um, or the color that I had before. So just wanted to get that out there. This is not a lightener. This is not a bleach. It's not going to bleach your hair. Okay. It's just going to take away whatever the pigment is from whatever color you put on top and get it back to that original blondish or whatever color you had before. That was a lot of talking, but all of that to say, this worked out really well for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this go through, speed through this process until we get to the end, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are towards the end. And as you can tell, I don't know, actually, maybe you couldn't tell, but I ran out of product um, right when I got to the front, which really sucked, but I was able to pull through <laughs> and get some of the product from the back. I guess I put way too much on the back and get it to the front. And I feel like this came out fine. Um, actually better than fine. It came out really good. So this is basically the blonde that I had before I put the pink on top of it. Um, a terrible bleach job, not gonna lie, a terrible lightning job, but I'm just glad I was able to get all the pink out. That way I can go back in later on and fix all of the lightener mistakes that I made, get everything all to one color, and then go back to do my roots. So if you guys want to go on that journey with me, let me know. I've been in cosmetology school for oh man like four months now and I've learned so much about the process and how to get better results so if you guys want to see any updates and tips and tricks from a almost licensed cosmetologist then let me know thank you guys so much for watching give this video a like remember to follow and leave a comment let me know what you think bye guys